In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install mods on your Minecraft Bedrock server. So the first thing that you need is go ahead and download yourself a mod that you want to upload to your server. You can do that from MCP EDL website or any other site that has modes that are compatible with Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can scroll down and browse to see what their latest ones are, or you can just go ahead here and search for what you're interested. So in my case, I'm going to be looking for something Super Mario related. As my kids are really into Super Mario nowadays so I'm just gonna say Mario here and as you can see there's like a bunch of uh, add-ons and worlds and stuff like this that are Super Mario related so I'm just gonna go ahead and download this very first one here so to download it all I have to do is go ahead and click on it and in here you're gonna see some description about it some screenshots and all that kind of stuff and if you want to read that that's good but the only thing you need to do here is go ahead and download it so in this case this mod is compiled off of a resource and a behavior pack so you're going to need to download both of those in order for it to work and sometimes maybe only one package here there may be more than two but again in this case only two packages we need to download so to download the package you're going to have to go ahead and click on the link and then you're going to be redirected to this page here and you're going to have to click on this link and then here this is going to kind of look different for everyone i've been here before so it says that this is already completed but just basically follow the instructions on the screen so you can get redirected to this media fire website Side from where you can download the mod and again this video is not too much about how to download the mods it's more like how to upload them to your server so this is just kind of like a little bit of a bonus so I downloaded the resource I'm gonna go ahead and now download the behavior again I'm gonna do the same thing and for you it may look a little bit different here it's just this is how the site works and there you go I'm gonna go ahead and click on download now once I have the resource pack and the behavior pack downloaded the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and un pack those so they're right now in this mc pack files but you can't upload them like this to your server um you want them to be extracted from this package so to do that on the mac it's easy all you have to do is right click and you can go ahead and use this archive utility and that will unpack them and will put them in a nice directory here for you and i want to do the same thing with the resource pack now if you're doing this on a windows i don't think windows can natively do that so you're gonna probably need to use a third party tool i'm pretty sure that that uh, 7-zip is a tool that you can use in order to extract these uh, packages into your little directories here. Now, once you have those set up, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and upload them to your server. Now, before you upload them to your server, it's not a bad idea to turn off your server. So in my case, I'm using Supervisor CTL. So I'm going to use that to turn off my server. So I'm say Supervisor CTL, stop all. Did I misspell it? Oh yeah, I did. There you go. Oh, and I need to run it as a pseudo. All right, and if I go ahead and check the status of it, and you can see my bedrock server is turned off right now. And if you want to know more on uh, how to use the supervisor CTL to manage your bedrock server, you should go ahead and watch my video on how to set up a Minecraft bedrock server using supervisor CTL. Anyway, let's get back to how to do those mods. So now once you have your server turned off, you're going to want to go ahead and upload those to your server. And um, you can either SCP them to your server or just use like a FileZilla or in my case, I'm going to be using CyberDuck. So go ahead and connect your server with some kind of a file transfer tool. I'm using again the CyberDuck. So you can go ahead and connect. So 192.168.0 and 22. Oops, missed the, missed the dot here. So 222. And my username is Debian and it seems like it remembers my password from before that's nice and you can go ahead and connect your server and you're going to want to navigate to the root of your minecraft server so in my case that is in this bedrock dash server directory so you're going to want to go in there and in here i'm going to look for two directories one will be resource packs so this one here and this is when i'm going to put my mario underscore resource pack directory so i'm going to go ahead and drag it like this and put it into this resource pack directory and i'm going to confirm that it's in here so as you can see a resource pack and the mario resource pack got uploaded there and then the next one would be your behavior pack directory so this one up here so as you can see, there's a lot of directories in here, but you want to add your Mario behavior pack in there as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Mario directory like this and I'm gonna put it in this behavior packs. All right, and then you wanna confirm again and make sure that Mario behavior pack is here. And as you can see, it is here. So we are ready to move on to our next step. So in our next step, we're gonna need to create a couple of files in which we're gonna give instructions to our Minecraft server on how to load that add-on. To do that, we're gonna have to go ahead and find the directory here in the root of our server that's called worlds. So it will be this one here on the very bottom for me. And if you expand this one, you'll see that in my case, I only have one world, but if you have more than one world, this will be like a, a list of other directories down here. You're gonna wanna open the directory for the world that you wanna upload this mod to. So in my case, I only have one, easy to choose. But again, in your case, you're gonna have to pick the world you want uh, these add-ons to go in. So once you figure out which world you want to put the add-ons on, go ahead, open that directory. And in here, we're going to go ahead and create a couple of files. So you can create those files from your command line, or you can create them from your SFTP client. It doesn't really matter how you do that. I'm going to do it from my client since I'm already here. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and actually, why don't I do one from here and one from the command line? So you just kind of can see how it works both ways. So I'm going to create one from here. So I'm going to say new file and there and you want to give your file a name. And in my case, I'm going to call it world behavior pack JSON. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And then in this file, I'm going to want to put the following JSON snippet. So I'm going to go ahead and open this file. And I'm going to put this snippet in the description under the video. So um, you can, all you have to do is just copy and paste. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it in here. So in my behavior pack JSON, I'm going to put the snippet here and I'm going to have to go ahead and replace this UID here and this version number. So to get the correct UID and the version number, you're going to want to go to your unpacked behavior directory. And so in here, we're going to open this manifest JSON file. So I will open this with my text editor and from here, you're gonna see this UUID and this is where you wanna grab the UUID for your behavior pack JSON file. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in here. And then the next thing is the version. So as you can see, the version here is one zero zero zero. So it's pretty easy in this case is just, we have to type one one here and that will look good. And oh, one thing we need to have a comma here. All right, so that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this file. And then as I said earlier, I'm gonna create the second file from the command line so you see how it's done. But basically it is the same thing, you know, like it's just command line creating a new file. So I'm gonna go ahead into this worlds directory. And then here I'm gonna go into my creative normal world. Again, you may have more, worlds than just one. So make sure you go to the right one. And once I'm in there, I'm going to go ahead and list it. And you can see here this world behavior pack JSON file that we just created from my cyber duck. And now I'm going to set up, I'm going to create a new file that I will call it world resource JSON. And here in this file, we're gonna go ahead again and we're gonna put the exact same snippet like we did in our behavior pack file. And here I'm gonna go ahead and enter the UUID, but this time I'm not gonna take the UUID from the manifest from the behavior pack, as you probably already assuming, we're gonna go ahead and get it from the resource pack. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go to my resource pack directory, and then I'm gonna open this manifest file and I will grab that UUID from here. So there you go, get it from here and paste it in here. And again, I'm missing a comma here. So I have to remember to put that comma. And when I put this snippet in the description under the video, I'll make this looks a little bit better like that. And then the version is again, one zero zero zero. Make sure that you put exactly what they have in those manifests. Next thing you want to go ahead, save this file. And once that file is saved, you can go ahead and restart your Minecraft server. So I'm going to go ahead again, since I'm using the uh, supervised CTL, all I have to do is run pseudo supervisor CTL reload. And then I'm going to check the status to make sure that it's running. 
and it appears that it's running. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead on my mobile device and I'm gonna go ahead and open my Minecraft Pocket Edition and I'm gonna try to connect to that world and see if what we did is working. So I'm gonna go ahead here and hit play and go ahead and connect to my home server. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try to find, uh, if I say Mario, and there you go, you can see I have this egg here that if I cast it, I should see some little Mario, Mario guys running around the screen. Let's give it a try. Oh, there you go. So it looks like it's working. This is it. It's a pretty straightforward process. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please go ahead, click on that like button. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. Make sure to post under the video. And again, if you want to see more of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching.